This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com, a leaded company specialized at the manufacturing of professional PCBs. The cost is only $5 for 10 PCBs with a maximum dimension of 10 cm by side. The manufacturing time is reduced to 48 hours and with a typical delivery time of 72 hours with express center shipping. Upload your Gerber files on the site, check the technical details as finishing specification, colors and then just wait. Today we will make the teardown of a uh, microwave oven and uh, for my opinion is a very good uh, starting point to experiment uh, high voltages. A first disclaimer is to pay attention to this because it can be a lethal experiment because there are uh, very dangerous voltages so please uh, don't replicate this uh, and uh, only if you are aware of these things, uh, manage uh, the microwave oven. I am interested to two elements of this microwave oven. The first is the MOT, this is the micro oven transformer, that is uh, uh, an elevator transformer, and also the magnetron, that is a special tube used to uh, create the microwaves rays. The magnetron is uh, a very interesting object, and uh, thanks to uh, the magnetic field produced by the permanent magnet uh, and also to a special geometry with uh, circular areas is uh, producing uh, very high frequency in the range of 2.5 GHz. This is uh, similar to the Wi-Fi carriers. The magnetron, in order to uh, function, needs a very high voltage in DC because uh, the anode of the magnetron shall be supplied with a voltage of at least 2 kV. In this case, uh, this Owen, uh, we had fire on this insulator and uh, for a safety reason I will dismiss this Owen. So I will uh, turn down the Owen and retrieve all the components. This schema is representing the, the Owen principle of operation. So we see a big transformer from the line and neutral here in Europe, where there is 230 volts, is producing one kilovolt of voltage. Then we have a big capacitor of 15 microfarad, is responsible to the doubling of the voltage and the diode also concur with the doubles of the voltage. The magnetron is this tube and uh, we have uh, the anode connected to ground and uh, is connected to the chassis of the micro oven and also to the minus of the transformer. And then we have uh, the cathode that is in common with the filament that are supplied from a special windings um, of the transformer and uh, this cathode are uh, eight turns of uh, tungstens that is uh, necessary to create electrons by uh, thermionic effect. Then we have uh, the two permanent magnet on the side then will produce uh, uh, a magnetic field. So the magnetic field and uh, the electric field are uh, 90 degrees between each other and then the electrons when will flow into the uh, magnetic field will be accelerated Then there is a special shape of the magnetron that are very circular areas. The electrons will resonate at that frequency 
and will be produced a very very high frequency. The path of the electrons is no more uh, a right path but is a circular one that is a, a cycloid. So the frequency produced is about 2.5 gigahertz. The waves are not coherent and this system is very efficient in order to create the, the main carrier. The principle is related to resonance so there are very important the geometry of the magnetron. These uh, oscillations at this carrier, there are uh, get by a special turn that is uh, a conductor that uh, with a guided uh, uh, conductor will uh, get all the electrons and then will collect all the waves in, uh, in the same directions. Then the waves are uh, directed to the Owen. Uh, if uh, we have a radar, that is another example of the, uh, this tube, uh, there is no more this uh, special turn, but uh, the waves uh, are sent uh, on the sky. I also put a switch on the mains uh, primary in order to disconnect the current if the door of the oven will open. The typical loads are the lamps, the motor and also the fan used by the micro oven. This uh, load can be cut by relays. I removed the main cover and from the top this is the main cable and uh, I note this uh, filter that is an EMI filter with a common choke and also safety capacitor in order to attenuate the disturbs on the network. On the lower part I found the MOT, so the transformer, that is connected to the chassis with one uh, uh, windings and then the big capacitors. This is very dangerous so before to touch it we have to check if there is some charge inside. So this is very important to discharge the capacitor. I check the continuous voltage and there is no more charge inside the capacitor. So now is safe. On this door we have the magnetron which is uh, this serial number is produced by the brand Whirlpool and uh, as you can see we found the two uh, connection. On the side we have the, the bell that is uh, the acoustic uh, alarm and here on the side we have the, the board that is responsible to the connections to the loads of the Owen. So relay, resistors and the cabling. On the door we have the position sensor in order to detect if the, the door is open. The cabling is uh, done with fast on connector with safety retain. This is uh, the fan that can be also retrieved and used for other projects. And this is the big capacitor. This is a Samsung capacitor with uh, 2 kilowatts uh, of power, 1.15 microfarads. And this is in, on the lateral side, we have the 
mechanism that is responsible for the control of the Owen. On the bottom part there is the little electric motor that is uh, an induction motor at the 60 Hz that is responsible for the movement of the plate. And we are 3 RPM. This is the sensor of temperature and the lamp and this we have the mythic magnetron. Pay attention to this because it can be dangerous because it contains some uh, uh, gas that are uh, dangerous. These are the window for the microwave. This is the magnetron. Uh, we, we can uh, look at the output, the cavity that is um, producing the microwaves. And these are a little network uh, in order to collect the, the microwaves. Don't open this object because it's very dangerous. We have the two uh, magnets, permanent magnets. There are a circular uh, in order to create the magnetic field and to create the RF oscillation. This is the transformer that the, with the high voltage winding and uh, also the main winding. This is a USA brand uh, transformer in H class, primary 230, secondary 2 kilovolts. This winding is on the primary because uh, it has a bigger section on the wire, so bigger current. This is the secondary with uh, many many turns in order to have the high voltage. Then we have another auxiliary windings with uh, these orange wires. We have the connection uh, of the one terminal of the windings directly connected to the core of the transformer. And the high voltage is fed from this connector. These are the, the parts uh, unmounted for the micro oven. As you can see, you have a lot of components that can be useful for other projects. First test, uh, I will connect the MOT transformer to the main power supply by a variac in order to regulate the amount of voltage. I give 10 volts at the primary and the second I have 100 volts, so a turn ratio of about 10. So if I, I supply at 230, I will get 2 kV.3 at the secondary. For the measurement of the high voltage, I created this uh, resistor partition with a 1 gig resistor and also a lower resistor for the lower part. So I will read uh, a voltage that is uh, 1000 times less than the real one. I put the 230 volts on the primary. So I read 1000 less because I use the, this uh, resistor partition. So I read the 1.11 volts, it means that is 1.1 kilovolts. So this high voltage is very dangerous, so pay attention to this because it's at 50 Hz. So uh, this can be uh, very dangerous for the health because these uh, low frequencies can penetrate uh, inside the earth. Normally, when we have uh, uh, on the air, we have 3 kV per millimeter of insulation. If I put very near the two 
alligators, I can make a little discharge. Voila! These are 2 kV in discharge. In order to have bigger uh, sparks, I use uh, the spark gap of my Tesla coil that is uh, built with uh, different uh, copper tubes and with uh, a more uh, elevated distance. We can see the little sparks between the two electrodes. The, the sparks is occurring where the distance is lower. I suggest not to use this mod for a long period in sparks because the winding will be overheated because the design of this transformer was for lower current, not for sparks current. So if you have a sparks, don't have a long uh, time. This is an application to perform a resonance in the high voltage part, like a Tesla coil. So the secondary of 1 kV will be closed on a capacitor and an inductor in order to form a resonant series circuit. Then I will put a spark gap, so when the voltage rise up to 1 kV, the sparks will occur and the resonant circuit will oscillate between the coil and the capacitor. With this uh, experiment the sparks will be more uh, with energy and a lot of light because all the charge stored in the capacitor will be resonated with the inductor so very high current of resonance. So the energy will be exchanged between capacitor and inductor. In order to make this experiment, I place this capacitor that is a series of more capacitor in order to um, have a higher voltage and this inductor. They are 15 nanofarad and this is with the spark gap. We will give the voltage. As you can see the sparks are more uh, evident and bigger. So this video is uh, finishing here. I hope that you like it. If you like it, please give a, give a big thumbs up and see you next time.